machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building a building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Would you believe this is a salt mine? And that's Lake Huron. Come on, kids. Let's see what it's like down in the mine. This is the elevator. It's going to take us deep underground to the salt. Here we go. The salt lies in a thick layer, about 560 meters below the lake. That's about as far underground as the CN Tower is high. It takes a little while to get down that far. Here comes the elevator. You're at the bottom, kids, deep underground in the mine. And guess what? You found me. I'm Ranger. I range all through this mine. Here's my driver, Bill. He helps me get around. I know everybody down here, so I can take you around. Hold on, here we go. Some think it's spooky down here, but not me. I'll tell you some neat things about this mine. It never rains, and it's always nice and warm and cozy. I love it down here. The salt has already been taken out of this part of the mine, so we have to drive quite a ways to get to where they are mining now. A mine is a network of tunnels with roads going all over the place. We never see the sun down here, so we have to have lights. This salt will be used by millions and millions of people. It will be spread on roads in the winter to melt the snow and used in water softeners. Notice how low the ceiling is in this part of the mine? That's because we're getting close to the place where the machines are working. My buddies are around here somewhere. That's Cutter. How are you doing? Hiya, Ranger. What's up? Could you show the kids how your saw works before you start work? Glad to. Wow, look at the teeth on that saw. Have you ever seen a saw as long as that? It's like a giant chainsaw. Yeah, but this chainsaw cuts through solid rock. Okay, I've got to get to work now. I'm gonna roll in close to the salt so I can begin to make my cut. I'm a mobile saw, so I can travel about on my wheels wherever we're working in the mine. Salt is a mineral, just like rocks, but it's pretty soft. I can cut through it easily. Do you know where this salt comes from, kids? Long ago, in the time of dinosaurs, a sea covered this area. When it dried up, it left thick layers of salt. There's salt all around us. The walls are salt, the ceiling is salt, even the floor is salt. Everything is salt. 
isn't that totally cool? So, Cutter, why are you making that big cut? I'm just the first one of the machines working at the salt. We only take out a section of salt at a time. And I'm cutting out the next section. There, that's the bottom cut. And now I have to turn my blade over and do the top cut. I'm pretty nimble for a big machine. Wow, it's getting dusty in here. I look like I'm covered with snow, but it's really salt. When I'm finished cutting, the floor and the ceiling will be nice and smooth. Just the way we like them. Wow! You're just slicing through the salt. That's my job done now. I've got to make way for the driller. He's the next machine in the process. Where do you get a look at him? I bet you kids have never seen a machine that has long arms like mine. Those are my drills. Oh, by the way, that long tail dragging behind is my electric power. I'm mobile too. An electric drilling platform on wheels. When Cutter has finished his job, I move in. Here we go. I'll just get into position here. That's it. I line up my rails in the right spot and... Drill bites deep into the salt. X marks the spot to drill. My arms are really long rails that carry my drills. So tell the kids why you're drilling the holes. We're going to blow up this wall of salt with explosives. Yeah! Hear that, kids? Explosives. Dynamite. The holes I make are where the explosives go. OK, that one's finished. Now for the next one. I can control each of my arms separately. a little. Good! That's it! See that? My drill slides along the rail as it's drilling. The rail keeps the drill in a straight line. Now we've got to get out of here before it's all blown up. Are you going to do it right now? We have to get out of here so they can pack the holes with dynamite. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm right behind you. Five, four, three, two, one. That explosion was really exciting. I love when they blast, because then I can get to work. The explosion breaks up the solid salt into smaller rocks that I can scoop up. That's my job. I'm stubby. I'm a front-end loader, and I scoop up all of the salt. See how low and stubby I am? I can work where the ceilings in the mine are really low. My job is to clear out the freshly blasted salt and dump it into the crusher. 
Aren't those wheels of mine huge? I need big tires to carry all this weight. See the salt moving along? It's going into the crusher. I'm the only machine down here that can work in such a tight space. Everyone else is too tall. We can't take out all of the salt, or the mine would collapse. We leave big pillars to hold up the ceiling. to the crusher. Look at that big lump of salt. Ah, well, the crusher will get it. The salt is getting broken down into smaller bits. A conveyor belt takes it away. Look at the teeth on that crusher, will you? No wonder the salt gets broken up. My worker has just put in a new drill bit on my drill. See that? Up my drilling arm goes. I'm sort of like driller and cutter. We all have fields, so we can move to where they are doing the mining. But I'm a little different than the others. I put holes in the ceiling. Old cutter left the ceiling nice and smooth for me. See, kids, we don't want pieces of the ceiling of the mine to fall down. That would not be good. So my job is to make a hole in the ceiling with this long drill. Then this rod goes up into the hole. We call it a rock bolt. When it's screwed in, it expands and digs into the salt. That helps to hold the ceiling up. That's why I'm so important. Safety. That's always important. See all of those black freckles in the ceiling? <laughs> those are all the rock bolts I put in place. I've got to get working again. No time to waste. See you later, kids. Something behind me. Oh my gosh. Are you trying to scare the life out of me, Scaler? <laughs> Scaler loves sneaking up on Ranger. Move out of my way there, little buddy. I need lots of room. You are enormous, Scaler. Your wheels are bigger than I am. I've got to be big to do my job. Come on in here and let the kids get a really good look at you. Okay. Look at the length of my boom. And my gigantic scraper. It's all teeth and knobby things. With a neck like that, you can touch the ceiling in the highest part of the mine. 
I can twist from side to side. That helps me steer and swing my big boom. Can you give us a little demonstration? Okay, I'll show you. Stand back now. Watch this. Bam! Bam. I've got to scrape down the walls to knock off the loose stuff. Can't have chunks of salt falling down. Someone could get hurt. Or it could damage one of the machines. That's what makes Scalar strong. Bam! That chunk would have been dangerous if it had fallen down. Thanks for the show, Scalar! So long, Ranger. Now, I'm going to take you kids to another part of the mine where other great big machines are working. That's Loader. Hi there, Loader. Hi, Ranger. What's happening? I'm just waiting for the dump truck to show up. Oh, here he comes. They've done more blasting in this part of the mine, so the tunnels are deeper and wider here. That's right. Dump trucks and tall loaders like me can really move a lot of salt when we have room to work. You guys are huge! How did big machines like you get down into the mine anyway? We were taken apart, so we could fit into the elevator shaft, and brought down in pieces, and then put back together again. No kidding. Yeah, and I'm so big, they had to cut my cargo bucket in half to fit me into the elevator shaft. And then they welded it back together again down here. Wow, that's a pretty neat trick. Anyway, let's get to work. Fill me up, Loader! Okay, here it comes. Another big scoop. You're full to the top now, Dumper. Off you go. I'm taking the salt to the crusher. I can carry it. Tons of the stuff in great big chunks. Come on with me, kids. I'm on my way. See you later. Sometimes there's almost a traffic jam down in the mine with all these great big machines. Just gotta back it up here. Not too fast. This salt's going into another gigantic crusher. 
boy! Look at that chunk of salt! Massive! Everything okay? Just great, Ranger. I can't wait to get another load. See you later! The Crusher is a big wheel with teeth on it. The wheel turns and the teeth grind and munch up the salt into small bits. Well, that big solid piece is going to be tough, but the Crusher will get it. When the salt comes out of the Crusher, it goes on this conveyor belt. Boy, the belt is really moving fast. Where do you suppose it's going? Let's follow the conveyor belt and find out. Can you spot the conveyor belt? It's away up near the ceiling, out of the way. Isn't this amazing? All these tunnels of salt? It seems like they go on forever. We finally made it. This is the refining mill. It's where my friend Shaky works. Look at him shake away. I'm sorting out the different sizes of salt. Some customers like the salt in lumpy bits, and others want it smaller. The salt bounces down my screen, and the fine bits of salt fall through first. The bigger lumps shake down to the end. Those springs are what gives the bounce. Look at that salt coming down through my wire mesh. It's like a waterfall of salt. Once I sort it out, it's stored in piles. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but Ranger, how does the salt get up out of the mine? Well, come on, I'll show you. It's back near where you came in. Here it is. It's hard to tell, but this is another elevator called the Skip. But this elevator is not for people. It's just for salt. The salt arrives here by another conveyor belt, and it goes into the Skip. It's like a big bucket. Up it goes. There are two skips that carry salt up to the surface. And here comes the other one. See the salt pouring into the skip? As soon as it's full, up the skip goes to the surface. There's a customer here to pick up a load of salt. Look at the size of that ship. It's the biggest machine of all. I'm not only big, but I can carry more salt than any other machine around here. coming out of that big gigantic hose. Look at it pour out of there. 
My hold will be full to the top in no time flat. I'm going to be taking this salt to ports all around the Great Lakes. This salt isn't going on food, kids. It's going on the highways to make them safe in winter. Soon I'll be sailing away, but before you leave, don't forget to say goodbye to Ranger. Well, kids, I hope you had a great time in the mine. It's been fun showing you around. So long for now. Machines, big and mighty machines, working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines, lifting and pulling and flying so high, building and building up to the sky. You can watch them all day and never know why they're mighty machines. Hear them roar, watch them soar, sit right down and see. There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things